and welcome to another edition of the California Guy videos. What's up everybody? This is Kelly Guy. Now I'm doing this video in response to Mr. Mr. Mighty's video on voting. Now I checked out the video. Well actually I seen the video before it even um I seen it on Fox News. I seen it on the Hannity and Cone well Hannity show. So I actually did see it before you uploaded it. Now, in the video, you state, Mr. Mighty, that votes don't count, but you used a very bad example of voting process. You used the Republican nomination. You're using uh, the primaries. You're using the primaries and the conventions on Democrats and Republicans to have an argument that your vote does not count. Now, let me break down uh, the video that you put down. In both parties, when you vote, you have delegates. It's a difference between voting and delegates in the primaries. Now, the Republican Party has rules to delegates, and you have conventions. So, when people vote in different states, uh, from Iowa all the way to California to Arizona and beyond, you have delegates. It's, some are winner-take-all delegates. Like, for example, uh, some states, they if you win, they're still giving it. They, they break down the, the, the delegates and into proportional splits. They, they divide and split the delegates depending on how far you want. Like if you want 60%, you get more delegates. Like Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, and John Kasich and Rubio. Uh, some states, because it's kind of confusing, some states, Trump won by a certain percentage, so he got a certain amount of delegates. In some of those states, so it it depends. And then you have some states where they're winner take all, like Florida, California, New Jersey, and in other states where you don't have to divide up the the the, the uh, delegates. So that's where the delegates play a role in. Uh, that's what Sean Hannity and uh, uh, Pierce, um, whatever the hell his name is, the Republican chairman was talking about. The Republican chairman going into the convention because you need those delegates. To win the nomination to go into the general election uh, to fight for the presidency of the United States. Your party gives you those delegates. The same for the Democrats. Democrats, some states are winner take all. And in other states, you split the uh, delegates based on how much the percentages of how you won. If, you, if it's a state where you split the delegates, and I think with the Democratic Party, we have it, on the Democratic side, it's super delegates. So... Uh, you get the super de you get a certain amount of delegates in the super de of the side. It's just party stuff. But my whole point is your vote does count because you get a certain percentage of voters. The delegates come out to your end. I mean, the delegates will go to the towards the candidate that you want. It depends on which county you're in. So you're confusing up the argument of your votes count and it doesn't count. Now, in Donald Trump's, uh, the thing they're saying about Donald Trump. Let's get to Trump real quick. Is that if he doesn't have a certain amount of delegates that they're going to try to stop his process. They're going to try to stop him at the convention. That's the basic goal of what they're talking about in, in the video. Is that Hannity is saying that the people, uh, which is laughable, he said that the people decided that Trump is the winner. But you still got to get a certain amount of delegates in order to be the nominee. Now you could be, uh, you could have a lead. But then Donald Trump is not leading that far, so you may have to have it to where you have a broker convention or somebody else step up that could be a dark horse. That's how conventions operate. It's based on delegates and people voting in the percentages. Some states winner take all, and other states uh, is split delegates. Depends on how many people's in the race. Now, voting does count. This is where a lot of African American people is wrong on. Voting counts. The reason why change doesn't happen in the black community is because we as a people do not get out and vote during different elections. For example, we could vote for judges. You could vote for commissioners in some states and some cities. You could vote for attorney generals even. Uh, you could vote for city councilmen. You could vote for governors. You could vote for congressmen. Black people, we choose to not participate in the progress because we got black people like you, Mr. Mighty, that says that voting doesn't count. That if you vote, that it doesn't mean nothing. The reason why we don't have change is because we don't have an agenda. And our agenda should be unified around um, African-American people 
of stopping either police brutality, jobs, or whatever. The reason why Ferguson was unsuccessful at times because black people didn't vote. You had a city council, you had an attorney general, you had a, a whole political process, even a governor of Missouri that, you know, we could have voted for. These people just didn't come to power out the air and they were voted in. But because we choose to not vote and we don't encourage voting, we don't get justice in some cases. Uh, if you vote, you get more power. Back in the slave days, uh, Reconstruction period, and I think I said this earlier, in the Reconstruction period, the whole purpose of creating the Ku Klux Klan was to stop black people from voting in the South. That's fact. They did not want black people to vote in the South, so what they did was they killed black people. They lynched them. Uh, they burned their houses down. That's why you had the Great Migration years later when blacks moved into cities because you could not vote. And then even in the big cities, it was the same thing. They kept blacks away from the polls so that you wouldn't make a difference. Um, in major cities, in major, uh, as years went on, the South still is trying to keep black people from voting. Why? Because they know what voting becomes power. If you could get a whole group of individuals to vote, change happens. Why did the white people, why did the racists and white supremacists want black people to not vote? They wanted black people not to vote so that they could continue pushing a racial, a racist agenda. They could continue having black people basically as slaves and continue to treat them the way they wanted to. But the black folk back in those days were a little stronger than we are today. We kept fighting to get into uh, to voting. We fought hard. We, we did different things to vote so that we could have power in the United States. Now, black people today is saying that voting does not matter. It don't really mean nothing. Only because it doesn't matter because we keep voting in just presidential elections. We don't vote on propositions. We don't vote on uh, who's going to be the treasurer, city treasurer. We're just unaware of all kinds of things. Mayors, we could vote for different things. It doesn't stop at the presidency and uh, Congress. You could go beyond that. If you're having a problem in your city or your state, you could rally up people to vote your officials out so that you could stop, so that we could stop police brutality. But instead, that does not happen. So when we say, well, you shouldn't vote for this person or the, 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 we use... Republican talking points, as you used in your video, you used the, uh, you didn't really, it wasn't accurate on top of that. You used the primaries and you used the Republican rules to try to prove that voting doesn't matter for black people, when, in which you're talking about a delegate count. So that's the whole big issue that I have with the video, Mr. Mighty, is that your video is very disingenuous and very inaccurate with well, what you're saying about voting. I do respect a lot of your videos, but I really don't agree with that particular video in the no voting uh, process. So I just thought to say that, people. Uh, like and share this video. Peace out.